Hello, I'm Torian Shum from Outsourcing Live. Just a little bit of fun there. All right, well, welcome again. I'm just going to show you a little bit of interesting things that you really do need to help improve the quality of the video. You see my little friend here? This is a light lamp or just a lamp. It's like this really standing lamp. As you can see, it's about my height and it's perfect exactly for what I want to do. Now, there are a few options and I'm no pro at this. I'm, I'm just doing these videos to present to you to show you how to, be a, out, uh, how to create videos and then outsource it. But the key component in order to make sure that they're good quality and also looks good, sounds good and simple things like that can make a huge difference to making your videos look quite professional. So what you can see here is just a lamp that I bought from like Ikea and it's like $30, $40 or so. You can go and spend money to get a professional lamp and I'm going to talk about the two different options. The first option, the budget option, which is what I currently use and as you can see, it does the job and it's very clear and it does you know what you need to do. And then you can go and spend hundreds of dollars for the professional box light, which I know um, is possible to get as well and I've seen it myself. And they're great and they come with all these kind of light globes and stuff like that but it sets you back a few hundred dollars. You can pick it up on eBay, you can pick it up on um, Amazon as well. But in this video, I just want to share with you what I've done and how to go about it. Now you see right here, this big chunky light globe. Um, they're becoming very, very popular but these are, very, these are what we call energy saving lights. And this current one that I'm holding here right now is 55 watts uh, that actually uh, uh, portrays out but when you actually put and look at the equivalent of it, I think this goes up to about 300 watts of lighting power. And this is more than enough to be able to light your face up, light everything around that you can see, and you don't have to worry about where to actually get lighting from if you don't have natural light. So what I would suggest in terms of getting a video created with good lighting is to just get one of these lamps, $30, $40. You know, they're bendable, which is great, and you know, I talked with it. Screw in one of these lights, which is 55 watts, and you know it looks a bit funny and it looks like one of those pixelated movies, Pixar movies where they've got that little light globe, boom, boom, boom. It looks exactly like that. And basically just have say three of these lights. It won't set you back very much for it. You can get pretty much three of these lights for, I don't know, a hundred something odd dollars. Or even if it, one would probably be sufficient to be honest. I've been using one for a long, long time. I just decided to get two more to be able to light up things. Maybe I'm just getting a bit, um, yeah, techy here. Anyway, one is sufficient enough and basically have it pointing at your face and make sure that you can't see the shadow behind you and you've got yourself, voila, you know, a nice lit up face for yourself and on the camera showing people exactly what you're doing. Obviously, I'm just showing exactly how I go about doing it and this is how you do it. Now, once I've done it, I send it off to my video editor who will edit and add all these little special effects. But as long as this quality of this video is at a very good level, it makes his life a lot easier. And that's what I highly recommend is just make sure that you do get the right lighting for that. So that's the budget option. As I mentioned, there is also the other option that you can get as well, which is the more professional and one of those big box lights. And it comes with like six or seven different light globes inside between. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to know how effective this is for you. I mean, for me, it's been great. But uh, obviously, you need to try it out for yourself. And if you do have any questions about how to position it, how to light it, feel free to answer it down below. All right, thanks very much for watching. My name is Tyrone Shum and remember, just outsource it. If you're looking to outsource your video editing and production or looking to learn more about building an online audience using videos, then subscribe to my newsletter at outsourcinglive.com. I'll send you a free video course showing you where to and also how to find the best video editors to outsource your video production. Also, you'll get tips on what software to use and practical tips on getting videos created fast and easy. This video course is completely free, so head over to outsourcinglive.com and enter your email address to get access.